Now let me show you how to install a post. You might think it's backbreaking work, but it's a lot easier than you think. Firstly, it's a good idea to reach out to your local utilities and make sure you're not going to run into any underground pipes or wires. A lot of times people use these little orange flags to mark the places to avoid. Once you've decided where to install the post, mark the spot by digging a little hole or with a can of spray paint. Take a marker and mark the depth line on the post. We're using an 8-foot post for this example, which should go 18 inches into the ground. This line will be a ground level when we're finished. Before you start pounding the post with your sledgehammer, let's talk about safety. Don't make the dangerous mistake of pounding in a tall post from the ground. Getting on a shaky ladder isn't much better of an idea either. For maximal safety, most posts are actually installed from the back of a pickup truck, which gives you the height you need plus the stability. For installing a post that's over 8 feet, the safest approach is actually to connect two shorter posts. Look for our companion video for more on that. One more thing to mention. You can also use this, it's called a post pounder. It's really heavy. You slide it on top of the post and use the weight to smash the post into the ground. Don't attach the sign to the narrow side of the post. That's actually a common mistake. Attach the sign to the wider side, which will provide the most support and keep the sign from bending. Use the nuts, bolts, and washers provided in the kit to install the sign. If you have any questions about installing a U-channel post, feel free to give us a call. Our customer service team is available to answer your questions.